All right, we're going to do that same routine to the other side. So I started with my right leg on the outside first, so my left leg is going to be on the outside this time. Turn back to the other side we started on. So you're going to go up on relevant base, so up on your toes. Turn your body towards the bar. And end with a plie. All right. I am excited to see a lot of the beginners and what you are doing because it could be a little fast. I'm not 100% sure for some of you because some of you are so little and I have some younger ones and older ones and combining it will be interesting. So I'm sorry if you younger ones, if it was too fast for you. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is still at the bar, we're going to be doing something called a tandu. A tandu means to brush. You're brushing your foot, and like I said before, we're um, all of our vocabulary is in French. So our foot, when we tandu, it needs to be pointed at all times, and it stays on the ground. A tandu stays connected to the ground. And it looks like this. You're going to be putting your feet in the fifth position, and you're going to be pointing them and brushing it on, out on the ground. And I'll show you what it looks like. So my feet are in first position, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it out and bring it back in. When you do this, you just need to make sure that your toes, um, let's see if I can get a little closer, that your toes, when you're doing this, are staying on the ground, and then you drag them back, still turned out, If you're going like this and trying to lead with your heel, it's not going to work. You need to bring your toes, they should be leading at all times. Even if it doesn't 
look like they're leading, they are in, that's just the way you need to think about it. Otherwise, um, your foot becomes flexed or it becomes sickled, which means that it's kind of curving in a not pretty way. So make sure you're making that pretty point and that you're just sliding. All right, let's try it. So we're just in fifth position this whole time. And what we do with our feet is we go front, side, and back, and then back, side, and front. So follow along as best as you can. Try the other side now. From there, we're going to take our tendu into a little bit of a degage. A degage means that it comes up off the ground just a tiny bit. So we have our tendu that we just did, and we pointed it out, and we closed it, and it stayed on the ground the whole time. Now it's going to come off the ground just a little bit, maybe two inches? Not anymore. You, we're not doing kicks. We're doing bop that's a batma, we're doing um, degages. And degages mean that they just come off a tiny bit, and that's it. All right, I hope my video doesn't stop on me. All right, we're gonna try degage. We'll go slow first. Um, the music is always super intimidating, but I'll always make sure to go slow with you first. Let me move this a little bit. Oh, I'm just getting an image of the table. Okay, so when we're doing our degages, we're gonna start in fifth position still, and here's our tendu, so it's on the ground, and our foot instead is just going to brush a tiny bit and close. So before, I'm trying to move my arms so you can see my whole body, it was like this, now it's like this. Now it's like that. So just a little bit. And then we're inside and back. Um, you're going to go 
One, two, three, a slower, but you're going to do three to each side. So front, side, and back, side, and then front, side, and back, side, and then we'll go fast. So try it with me, do it as best as you can. I have one more video for you guys that we're going to do today for ballet. Make sure you're practicing and that you're sending me your videos of your work that you're doing. <laughs> 